found a video on YouTube that me and you can watch simultaneously. I just want to give like constructive criticism. Okay. So. For who? It's just a random guy's gameplay. Looks like he gets paid more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I. I. Sucks. <laughs> don't know about his background. I feel like that's fake. I think that's fake. I think he's definitely um, green okay. screened that entire house that he's in. Yeah, that's all definitely okay. green screened. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I'm like the very best at anything, any one given character or anything, but I do have a very good like idea of like how to play all the characters that I enjoy playing. And Mir Mirage is definitely one of the Mirage is definitely one of the ones that I like. A lot and then my friend civic here only plays mirage so oh yeah go yeah, boom he's dropping in so like he sees someone and just i'm gonna pause it actually the first person he sees he gives him warning shots which is like a super super bad thing to do you do With not r9 at first by yeah the... you not do not want to warn someone that you're gonna start shooting at them this guy, he gets excited and sees someone, and he's like, oh, I have to shoot at this guy. It's like, it's an enemy. And he doesn't, like, take his time. He just, he just, he's fucking, he just can't help himself, and he just squirts out some shots. All right, I'm, I'm playing it. Okay, and then he immediately, like, runs into the guy without even, like, really shooting him. He, like, basically headbutts the guy. Oh, shit. This next fight, decoy. yeah, this next fight, it's like, he's Why playing he cover, he is playing what? cover, so that's good. He's not popping his ult, which is not good. You're right, you're right. Honestly, I didn't catch that. He could have popped his ult way sooner. And then he pops it out in the middle of nowhere. It does it absolutely there, nothing. Like in a circle. Yeah, like, okay. Okay, I'm going to pause it, I'm going to pause it. I'm gonna pause it. I have so much pause. to say. I have so much to say. Okay. So... <laughs> When you're playing Mirage, like, your decoys, like, yeah, if you run in a circle, it can be kind of confusing. But if you're out, like, in the middle of the open like that, and you pop your decoys and just run in a little circle, like, it's pretty obvious to figure out who you are. And, like, it doesn't really do much because the enemy is just watching your little, like, I don't even know, circus show from far away they don't have to move their <laughs> aim very much to even like <laughs> take in all the information like basically someone could be watching him from far away right now obviously there's no one looking but like if there was a guy looking at him they could just, just be sitting there watching and, and they can see all the mirages in their scope they're just sitting there and waiting for something to happen that gives away you know which one he is which honestly is usually climbing i think Climbing gives it away. That's smart. The yeah. biggest one. That's yeah. the biggest one. Yeah, you're right. Wow, that's that's actually see. That's why I need you here. Is like I don't think about that stuff. So like when you jump and climb on stuff, you'll be climbing up and they won't move at all. Right. They don't climb. I mean, they don't heal. He's healing as well. But yeah. Basically, that only uh, shows when it pops. Finally, I think. That's a lot of like what not to do's, but like what to do in this situation, in my opinion, is you want to pop ult like in their face. Like you want to get closer so that when the ults are kind of like going all the different directions, there's a lot of information that needs to be taken in in order for them to figure out what's going on. So like your goal is to confuse them as much as possible, and he's <laughs> definitely not doing that right now. Your tactical is a really good way to get that little jump to get closer. To right. Them. You can throw the tactical out as soon as they're shooting at it. You have like a little window of opportunity Split second, to yeah. get up in their face. Yeah, it's true. It's really true. And uh, okay, I'm. I guess we'll play it from here. So basically, what I'm saying is he could have jumped off the box towards them and popped his ult instead of running away. So now he's standing in the open with no cover. Okay, he's he's kind of moving over to the rocks. Which is good. I like that. I do like that. Yeah, get that high. Oh, he hit it. He hit a headshot. Okay, all right. He's definitely like getting a good angle on this guy on the left, but he's making himself very vulnerable to the other two people. Sit your ass down. Oh damn! Thirty thirty be hitting. Yeah.
He's really lucky his teammate on the right is putting in enough pressure to keep them off of him because he was like For very real, by yeah. himself. He's so dead. If he really wanted to get more damage, he would have thirsted that guy. But he doesn't know he's on a, like a heater yet. But yeah, if you're going for like a 4k badge, thirst everybody. Alright, he's putting in pressure on these enemies, that's pretty good. I like that. He's missing... Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a little hard to watch. But it's okay, I'm not judging anyone based on their aim. I mean, obviously. Yeah. Top of the chopper block. Yeah, yeah. Aim is something that everyone can improve on, it's fine. He hits a lot more. Thought he would. Yeah, no, he's 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 hitting with the thirty. I think that's probably how he got the four K. Oh, oh he just hard to watch that. Oh It's like if he misses, he misses by a mile. <laughs> he either it's hits or he's shot too. Like when he misses, he goes yeah. missing. <laughs> if, if he misses, it's either he hits it or he's fucking off way off to the fucking side. That might be like a sensitivity issue. Something you can improve on with, with just your settings. Oh, get me. Hmm. <laughs> Did you hear him? Yeah, yeah. Did he swap out the 3030 for R31? Did I not notice that? I believe so, yeah. Okay. I don't like how he skips through his videos. What is he? Oh, yeah, well, I do that sure. too. Maybe nothing happened. Fuck them if that's what they're having you do. Your videos are different though, like, you put a lot more entertaining aspect into it, like music and like slow motion scenes and all that stuff. That's true. I do do I that. I feel like if you're just playing like the game and just putting it up, like, A um, lot of the time my edits go unnoticed as well because they're so fluid with what's going on in the, in the video. Like I'll put music in the background and it's like, oh, this music is what's supposed to happen at <laughs> this time. <laughs> what's his team doing? It's really weird. So, I guess I could pause it. I'm gonna pause it. Actually, I'm gonna let him fight right. this guy at the door really quick. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's a yeah, it's yeah. a lifeline. Okay, so he's fighting. So I'm a little bit ahead of you. Okay. And I was Hold just on. What his team okay, was so I'm pausing it now because he just jumped down off of height. Yeah. I was so, right I mean, my overall like, my biggest thing out of the, what's going on here is that you're gonna want to hold high ground, especially when like your team is in a fight where like you don't have an advantage yet right like it's kind of like a mm -hmm. it's kind of like a anyone can win sort of a situation right now and what you want is only we can win and it's just a matter of time whether like who like how it goes down right so one person on the team should always be holding height until you get an advantage and a lot of the time that's me because i have like Octane, Pathfinder, Bounce Pad, Zipline, Grab, whatever. I play a lot of like mobile characters, so I'll be like grappling up on height and I'll hold it until we get like an advantage of some kind. He had height, like he was on the top floor, which was kind of good, but then he immediately jumped down, and it's just like with a shield advantage too. Like yeah, take, like no damage just now. He he jumps down because he really wants this kill, so that's tunnel vision, and that's like another huge no-no is like you really don't want tunnel vision when playing this game the best way to not do this is to have the mentality like like i have when i play so basically what i do is i don't have greed for kills until i know it's possible to have a big game right and that's what like Russian. yeah that's what like differentiates my greedy gameplay to my normal gameplay I think a lot of the time people have greedy gameplay 100%. Like, it's, like, always turned on. It's just, like, that's how they play. And I think that that's kind of that's kind of fucked. Like, I hate that mentality so much. So the best way to turn that off is to be like, okay, this is not going to be a huge game. Like, this is not going to be a 20 bomb. This is not going to be a 4K. I'm just going to play it out normal, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to help my teammates get kills. And I don't necessarily need to get the kill, right? I'm just happy to be alive, man. And I'm like, oh my god, we got it. I think, yeah. like, yeah, honestly, like, the best thing about, like, having the mentality, like, where you don't need to greed all the time is that when 
you do get a good game going like you drop in you get six kills or you have like a ton of damage and like you want to go for a huge game the cool thing is like you can literally just tell your teammates you're like this is a big game like i'm going in for kills like i'm like 100 percent full sending like everything because that's how like, you can tell your teammates like i'm gonna play differently than i normally do like i'm gonna be like up in people's faces and like i'm gonna risk my life more like you said at the beginning of all this i don't know what the hell his teammates are doing i don't think he has awareness of what his teammates are doing either so oh yeah so <laughs> it's kind of like works against you yeah it's like really really important to have awareness of like everyone on your team and what's going on someone is definitely dead right now uh <laughs> yeah, i know that's what i was saying like they I don't know where I don't even know where they're at. They're at a different building. Yeah. Like a hundred percent. I see like on this. the mini map, like way up in the top right or the top left, that he's like far as hell away. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm gonna play it. Okay, he made a smart decision yeah, to go to his yeah. team. He didn't like chase the guy down. Yeah, we only stream on Fridays, bro. Oh, his teammate's far, far. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His teammate. I don't know if maybe his teammate I see why was. This person was running. I wish I was in these lobbies. Was that the lifeline? I can't. Up or not, um, the right Damn! Team? Oh, he punched his fucking face. Okay. That is a lifeline. I know. Fuck you. Yeah. Is that a lifeline with a? His mirage a instantly card. died. Okay, he got both the thirsts. Now it's a two v one. Oh, never mind. There's another team. Some more fucking Gibraltar. Okay. Gibraltar's completely by himself, which makes absolutely no sense. Oh, the teammate is calling out for him, bro. I'm gonna have to pause this at the end of this fight. Go over all this fucking shit. Okay. I guess I'll pause it here since he's reviving. Okay. That wasn't a terrible revival. I mean, he probably should have popped ult a little bit sooner. Way so sooner. Spread out more. Yeah. I personally would have popped it like a second earlier, like you said, but this is good enough. Right here, when he comes to, he like walks through the top of the building and he's going out the backside. I'm pausing again and he sees like where the enemy's like banner is or whatever. Yeah. He should be, and I know this is like annoying because you have to put trust in your teammates and this is something that i do a lot is like if i see my teammate like kind of covering a certain area right i kind of like don't feel like there needs to be two sets of eyes on that right on that spot yeah so what he should be doing because he has knowledge of the lifeline because the lifeline comes later and kind of gets it gets kind of messy but like right. he has knowledge of the lifeline and where they are he should be looking to the right to see if they're pushing up. Right, at least checking occasionally yeah. to see. Yeah. I personally would have run across the top of the, the right side of the upper level, and I would have been looking down to see if the lifeline was, like, pushing towards him or if they're, like, backing off or, like, if it's a different team. Like, try to, you know, he, your goal should be to try to figure out, like, all of the positions of all the enemies around you all the time. But he's kind of just info, the better. yeah, exactly. The more info, the better. Now, okay, here's another one. I'm pause it again. Both teammates the ult. are are looting at, at the same, same time. time. Yeah. yeah, it should always be one and then the other. Someone should be keeping awareness and like looking out, covering. Yeah, covering while the other person is looting. And I know, it, like, it sucks to be the person covering because you're just like standing there, like watching someone get loot when you want loot or whatever it is but like you gotta take turns and i know that's like fucking shitty but like it is it's pretty important if you see like me looting inside of a thing i won't be there that long so you can literally just cover for a second and then as soon as i'm out of it boom you can jump in there and i'll cover same fucking thing obviously they're gonna push he just took a zip line you could beam off of a zip yeah that was the um that was the, the lifeline line. yeah yeah it's pretty easy to beam someone off a zip. Okay. Ooh, that was kind of rough to watch. The punch? Yeah, because he's really just like walking straight at them, like s spraying. 
And he's lucky that the damage lined up just enough for him to knock the Pappy. Yeah. Yeah. Also, his Boozle instantly died and did nothing. <laughs> it's they've been getting worse. The Boozles get caught on stuff and just disappear. Right. Like a lot right. More now. Yeah, I've noticed that as well, actually. I'm gonna pause it because he jumps off of height and he lands in the open with like no cover, and I feel like that's just like such a bad play. Especially if you're not planning on doing any sort of like a boozle move or anything. Yeah, like, just straight up drop. He literally just dropped and immediately kind of stood there and zoomed in. You know, like I just call it like rubber necking, and it's it's a term that's used for people who stand and just stare at people and stuff. I'm not sure 100% where I heard that from, but I'm pretty sure. I like I always want to call it rubber necking. So like, rubber necking bad. <laughs> You never want to just stand there in the open staring at shit. His slides are really not, like, they're off tempo. What I mean by that is, like, after a certain amount of time of sprinting, you should be sliding to get, like, max speed all the time. It's kind of like a rhythm. Um, but he's, yeah, he's not, he's not in rhythm with the sliding. How are you out of ammo? Oh, no, he had to switch, okay. Something, dude. I thought that was an R9 in the car. I don't know why I thought it was an R9. You're ahead of me, but I'm I'm catching up. Sorry. You're good. No, don't be fine. You finished the Gibraltar, I think. I got that life on sound. Are you past the revive? He's just looting. Yeah. Uh. Okay. okay now he's shooting down from height. All right. Cool. Oh, he jumps off height. Okay, there's a 2v1 in front of him. What is he gonna do? A lifeline with a res. Let's just keep getting him up, man. Hmm. He's. <laughs> Woo! Oh my God. Yeah, he's all excited for all the shots he's missing. <laughs> oh, bro. Couldn't be me. I'm I like, mean, oh, no. honestly, I'm honestly, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give him shit for that because it's like it is kind of funny, but at the Sit same time, <laughs> it's just a fucking, it's just a fucking uh, mess. It's just a mess. There's definitely some luck mixed into surviving that for sure. Yeah, a little luck, a little, a little hectic, a little like kind of like wild, but sometimes He's accelerating a fight good. is like. Yeah, his aim is not terrible. Like, it's terrible, like, long range, I'd say. But, like, he's... For a mouse and key player, he's kind of hitting these, like, uh... These close range... Hip fire is what it is. He's hip fire. Yeah. He's hitting a lot of hip fire. This must be that other team that was just straight up backed off. For someone that I like the other guy. Oh well now now he's missing everything, Jesus. You can swap all you want, dude. You're gonna get beamed. You're gonna get beamed. You're just gonna I get mean beamed. your teammate did the majority of the damage on that one. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I should go back and expose how much damage you just did, but I I don't think I need to. Dude, someone had a Kraber? Okay, he takes a crab. Crab. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I always call it the crab. I don't know where that got invented. I think it was season one when me and my friends played a lot of like... Someone called it a crab. Or yeah, I don't know. Someone called it a crab and it just yeah, became sure. a crab. <laughs> I doubt it. There's probably only one left. <sighs> Oh, just 30, 59, so... So he's gonna farm a thousand damage on the last team. <laughs> oh, we could be douchebags. <laughs> if he farms it, I'm done with the video. Straight up. I think he does. I think he farms for the last thousand. I don't know. I feel like that's just kind of lame. Yeah, I mean, if you if you haven't ever gotten a 4k, though, yeah, I would say it's worth doing. But he's gotta hit ten crab shots. Okay, there's one. Alright. There's two. Oh, he is hitting! Okay. 
even though you're farming, your positioning right now is fucking terrible. Yeah. I'm surprised he's, he's not getting hit. Right there. You you get spot to snipe. He's in the open on my screen. Yeah, just let him get the res. Oh, yeah. Let no. him get healed up. He, he should have like a box or a just rock sure or something that he can peek around the corner of. He was chilling with a rocket first. I, I know, I don't know what yeah, the fuck he's doing. Right here. Yeah. It took him forever to get to that spot. I'm surprised don't he didn't get him, lit. Okay, he missed a shot. That's fine. Probably just scared shitless right now. Yeah, he, he's using the element of fear. His teammate is covering really well. Oh, and he's got that fucking drill grenade to get them out of cover. Okay, there we go. Okay. He got another 140. If he hits every shot in the crowd, I think that's... Oh, no, he doesn't even need to hit every shot. He just needs to hit, like, two more crab shots, and then he can push the team and get damage with his close range. Boom. Okay. Another 180. 36.03. Oh, damn. He's excited. I love seeing people excited for a 4K, though. I do really love that. Yeah. You got this, dude. You just you deserve it. You you don't, but also I'm happy for you. <laughs> you got this. I'm gonna to this building and. Oh, watching him just sprint with the Kraber out, and not putting his weapon away to get extra speed. Oh, just pain. He's waiting. Okay. I respect waiting to take a shot there. That was pretty smart. Okay, someone's pushing him. Yep. Did he just pre-fire? He pre-fired, yeah. Disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, he hit the nade? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that person just fucking laid an egg on that nade, bro. Oh, man. He built a nest and he was like, oh, is this my egg? Oh, he's thirsting for damage. He got it. Oh, dude. There it is. Yeah. And it was a headshot, which is really nice. This is my first 4K game ever. I'd be I'd be pretty stoked about that. 4K, baby! 4K game! That's pretty dope. Alright, I'm happy for him. I was always going to give you that, dude. Oh, I didn't care if you got the kill. I just wanted the damage. No, I know. Congrats on the badge. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, his teammate did help him a lot, actually. <laughs> what a guy. I had a lot of good information in there, I think. <clears throat> I get into that same mindset when I'm playing and my teammate has, like, a possible game. I always, like, feel like I'll put, I'll put my whole life on the line just to help him get it. 